Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional video for May 20th, 2018. Our passage for today is the book of Psalm, chapter 94. We're reading verses 19 through 22. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. Can a corrupt throne be allied with you, one that brings on misery by its decrees? They band together against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my fortress and my God, the rock in whom I take refuge. The title for today's devotional is The Hidden Causes of Anxiety. Experiences affect how people think about themselves and what they choose to believe. Sometimes negative events create a hurtful thought pattern that can play in someone's brain in a continuous loop. When that gets switched on, it triggers anxiety in a person's heart. Shutting it off permanently requires faith in the Lord. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Suppose that little Tina's efforts to do well were often rejected by her parents. She heard, you can do better than that, or your sister did much better at your age. Tina rarely received praise for a job well done. Now, an adult, she refuses to apply for a job promotion, even though her boss is encouraging her to do so. Why? Because she fears being found inadequate. Tina may not be able to name her fear, but it certainly holds her back. There are several other potential root causes of anxiety. An exhaustive list would not fit here, but a few of the more common ones are the belief that one can't reach a set standard, guilt over past sin, a faulty idea of God as a punisher, and attitudes instilled during childhood. When feeling anxious, ask yourself what produced the uneasiness. Knowing which incidents nurture fear can point you to the underlying cause. Let God help you reject the unhealthy thought pattern and replace it with assurance that those who listen to him live free from the dread of evil. That's from Proverbs 1.33. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a blessed day today. and hope to see you back here again tomorrow.